Okay, so the style, I, I'm sorry, y'all. I've been using this for like three days in a row. I love them that much. They're by Kiss. The style name is Camisole. I think that's how you pronounce it. They're just so big and full. And y'all know how I feel about the dramatic lashes. So y'all know how to get into it. I'm just kidding. But I think that was like six or seven dollars. I like to order my lashes in bulk because once I like something, everybody knows I'll probably get it in different colors or get a lot of it. That's how I feel about these lashes right now. I don't know when I'm going to stop using them, but when I find other lashes, then y'all, I'll let y'all know. Okay. They're really hard, so I do know that one of my brows is bigger than the other, but it's going to stay like that because I'm growing them out. So when I go get them waxed, I want them to be nice, okay? You could tell the big difference. Like, this side is really, like, matte and fresh. You could tell. And this one's still dewy. That's why I put pressed powder on. I know a lot of people don't do it anymore. But it goes with my face. I really think it do. So I just be, you know, keeping that bit on. This one's in the foundation off my lips. Because you don't look like no crackhead or nothing like that, you know. Like, if I was going nowhere special, this is usually my everyday look. Like... Everybody know that. That's like a good foundation powder and eyebrows. But we're not doing that today, so. Okay, I got my mascara on. It is. The only reason today is the Wet n Wild Max Volume Mascara. This is my little cheap mascara. Like, if I'm gonna throw some lashes on, I put this on because it's jet black and do the job, whatever. I just feel like my uh my Urban Decay one is too, like, hard. So when I put my lashes on, it just don't be sitting the way I want it. So that's why I use a cheap one. This one's pretty black. I don't got no problems with it, so. I'm gonna put my lashes off camera because I don't want y'all to watch me struggle. So I'll give you a moment. I'm gonna put one on and then let y'all see how it look like later. Put one of the lashes on. As you can see, it's really thick and full. Like, and then over here is young and little, whatever. But this is why I would like lashes in general. Like, I like the full look because I got small eyes, so I make my eyes look bigger. And it just fits my features. I got big ass nose, big mouth piece, big eyebrows, big lashes. I'm trying to like let y'all see the difference in definition but this i really like them lashes okay. i put both of my lashes on as you can see the definition you know is real nice i just like how i look like this person in me like if i could look like this all the time it would have been it and i don't like the individual stuff i don't know because they be looking funny when people got them and then some fall out and you just be looking like you got like four lashes so i don't know these this is it for me. Sorry, y'all. I'm giving y'all screenshot material, whatever. I don't know. Like push your lashes together with your um tweezers, cause like if your lashes are sitting too high, like you just squeeze them together closer with your real lid. It really helps out and makes it look way better. I learned that when I first started, but now I'm gonna um contour. I am using the Black Radiance Contour Palette in the shade medium dark. I didn't know what shade to use or whatever. I just Googled it and watched a few people put it on. And I just figured this was the right color for me. When I don't um, use this one, I'd be using the Morphe. I'd be using the Morphe palette in Showmance to contour and highlight. Bontour, whatever, bronzing, whatever. This is what I use to contour, y'all. You know what I mean. I use the <clears throat> MAC pigment. It looked like this. It's really shiny, y'all. I've had this for a couple years now, and as you can see, still not a dent in there because that's how bright it is i only use it for my um my brow bone though because this thing is too bright to go anywhere else it's in the shade melon <sighs> that's still too much i got it on here i'm gonna put it on this eyebrow so you can see okay. the difference. i'm going on my eyebrows so i didn't pluck them or nothing like that but i forgot to do one side so i did both of them um you can really like notice it and stuff I just like when the sun hits it and everybody would ask me what's under my brow bone. This is what it is, y'all. I think I bought it for $10. Ten dollars. Dang, that was a long time ago. But um, I seen a YouTuber, B. Marie, use it. And I was like, oh, what is that? I need it. And I think we're around the same shape. The skin color. So I want to go find me this. I'm going to close it tight. I had it opened a little bit one time and I think I got everywhere. My stuff was golden, like golden, golden. I was like, bruh. So now I know to seal it really good. But this is my full face. Where's my tweezers? This, this is too much. I got this one. Hold on, y'all. So 
said I wasn't going to plug none, but I want y'all to see the true definition of um this highlight. The contour looks amazing, though, y'all. Like, it's not too heavy, which I really like. I really would be going light with my strokes. And then, like, I don't use setting powder, so I know everyone's going to be like, ah, so you use that stuff, da 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 Y'all gonna see I don't use a lot of stuff. I'm just not getting on the um, primer and um, contour stuff. So relax. Let me... I'll get there. All right. But I'm using my mascara over my eyebrows. Because I don't know if y'all know this, but it be making your eyebrow hairs stay up the whole day, standing up. And I really like that for those people whose um, eyebrows hairs go down throughout the day. I'm not look, trying to look like Shrek, but it... Look, this eyebrow looks way more intense than this one. Just because I put a little black on there. You know, I don't want to have jet black eyebrows because that's not the color of my hair. It's, like, dark brown, I want to say. But, um, just for the look itself, I like to have them hair standing up, personally. Y'all gotta do this, but I do this, so I'm gonna try and share my little stuff with y'all. Because when people be posting stuff, I be like, what did you? They be trying to ignore people and stuff. Great. Great, but I'm still ask you, though. So, I don't like when people do that to me, so I'm not gonna do that to y'all. Now, this, um stuff i'm using right now it's just a pencil from the hair store y'all i finished my anastasia and i need to go get it but i ain't going to get it right now i ain't real i don't want to go to the store so this is my full face everybody i'm not doing all this stuff because i see my age this This is usually, like, my during-the-day look. If I'm going out at night, I highly do some, like, glitter lids and stuff. Y'all know I like glitter lids and big lashes. And I will do looks like that for you, too. I just wanted to show everyone that I'm contouring now and what I use to contour. I'll do another video using the Morphe bronze tour thingy, whatever, to show y'all how different that is. But, you know, this is not too much. Back it up, hey, back, back, back it up. Throw that shit over here, girl, that's what it's